Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Uh, picking up right where we left off, last episode we started uh, our search for Astrid. Uh, after our plane went down, the plane going down, not that big of a surprise, I guess. They kind of spoiled it. They already told us what would happen. Uh, so yeah, so we've just been searching for Astrid, trying to survive. Uh, killed a couple rabbits, surprisingly. I don't know how I killed some last episode. It, I just got lucky, I think. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't think that I'm actually able to cook them. I think I need, like, some sort of, like, cooking apparatus. I can't just, like, I can't just, like, take a rod and, or, like, a stick and shove it up its butt or something like that and cook it over the fire. Apparently, I actually need, like, legit, like, um, legit, like, cooking, um, what do I want to say here? Uh, apparatus. Uh, so we, we uh, last episode, at the end of the episode, I actually ran over the fire. Uh, so, my feet are burnt. I can't really see, but my feet are burnt, apparently, and I have, uh, some, uh... I'm having some issues. I'm having some real issues here. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Okay, we'll take this. Take some potable water. Oh, don't forget to take the can. We gotta take that for sure. Uh, we're gonna venture off into the dark. The long dark, some say. We're gonna let the rabbits go because I can't actually cook any uh, cook any of them right now. Um, what I need to do is I need to find some sort of bedding. Uh, I think that's kind of the. Hold on, just a uh, a quick second here. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be stupid about this. Uh. There it is. Okay. Uh, I haven't quite figured out that mechanic yet. I can't even, like, make tea yet. Okay, what is this? What is the, um... Uh, a lichen found in ancient forest of the Pacific Northwest. What does it do, though? It's like a crafting material, or... It, it's used in, like, some sort of medicine. I do have a journal as well. Does that tell me anything? No. Look for clues, search for Astrid. Survive the night, sleep in the cave. I think you already I think I already did that. Astrid. Where did you go? Ow. That didn't what that didn't do anything. Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Right, but this is really the only way that we can go. What's it eating though? Is that Astrid? Is it eating Astrid? How does it not know me? Or, how, well, how does it not know me? Hey, is that Will over there? That's not what I meant to say. I meant, how does it not notice me? Will McKenzie, is that you? Yeah, Wolf, it's me. How does it not know me? My torch is going out. I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. Is this a cave? I need, I need some shelter. Whoa. Looks like some kind of radio tower. Oh, that might be a that might be a saving grace. That might be a saving grace, actually. I need I need some shelter, and there goes my torch. And there goes my torch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get out some stones. <laughs> Can I climb this or no? Here we go. Oh, uh, rose hips. I'll take some of those. We're gonna make a tea eventually. If I can ever figure it out. I think I might be able to do it with the, the tin can that I have. I think I just have to get the water to boiling, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I have yet to figure out a lot of things. I, 
have yet to figure out a lot of stuff. We're doing fairly okay. Our temperature's not that great, and we definitely need some food here, but I can't... But I can't really... I don't really have food. Do we have um some cattails here? Yep, yeah, okay, we can eat some of these, actually. So we'll eat that. Doesn't really give us a whole lot of calories, but it's... It is what it is. Like, I... We're in the thick of things here. We can't really be picky about what we get. We gotta take what we can... We gotta take what we got. Gotta make do. Man, that wolf is kind of scary. I need some weapons. I don't think throwing rocks at its face would have done a whole lot of good. I'm trying to find a some sort of like cave or shelter. Food? Birch bark. Collect and prepare birch bark to brew a uh, restorative tea. Okay. I need to figure out how to um, cook these rabbits. Because that's going to give me a lot of food. But I don't think I could cook them, like I said, until I get... Like an actual like cooking pot or something like that. Hopefully I didn't miss something on the plane. I wonder if I missed a cooking pot. Oh man, my temperature's not great. Shoot. I need to figure out how to make a bed, too. And I need to watch my... I can't just keep lighting fires everywhere, because there's... I do have a limited supply of matches. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. I know, I know, I know. Shoot, let's let's do it. The pain. Come on, man. <laughs> Hurry up, you better light that fire. Come on now. Ooh, I don't have too many more matches left. I need to make it to that radio tower. I need I need some sort of like base of operations. Um, let's get some sticks in here. Good. Yeah, I, I feel like I missed something. I feel like I... I feel like I may have missed something. I'm hoping I didn't, but I... Where do you get a cooking pot to make rabbits? The reason I think I missed something was because... Um, like, it, already, like, in the tutorial phase or whatever... They showed you how to kill rabbits. Why would they show you how to kill rabbits if you can't use them yet? I feel like that... I feel like that's where I'm kind of messing up here. Get a lot of food in me. Mmm, cattails. I didn't know cattails... Uh, at least the stalks were edible. Oh, what do I got here? Oh, I got antibiotics. Does that heal wounds? Let's see if that heals... Oh, sweet. Okay, my right hand is on fire. That didn't work. Well, I just wasted that. Great. Fantastic. Lighting sources. Can I, like... Oh, sweet. Okay, uh, place. Um... Do I want to waste the calories? I don't... Yeah, I guess so, because I need, like... What the hell? I need to sleep here. So this is boiled. 
I don't want to drink that. It's like freaking hot, man. What does boil dry mean? Oh, does that mean it like evaporates? All right, let's take it then. We'll do some more melted snow. And uh, can I sleep? <laughs> you can't get me in here. This is my snow shelter. I'm protected at all sides, on all sides. Can I not sleep in here? Rest. Sleep. Calories burned. All right, let's sleep for six hours. Let's wait. Let's get the sun up at least. Get rid of the uh, the coyotes and uh, wolves. Not coyotes, wolves. Freaking wolves. They're a lot bigger than coyotes. Okay, good. Temperature good. Rest good. Food and water not so great. Oh, shoot. My fire went out. Um, okay, that's, that's okay. Oh, we should be breaking these down. We actually get, like, stuff from them. This might be st stupid. In fact, I already know it's stupid that I'm, I'm traveling right now. Drink that. Get my water up. Man, it's a slow go. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if any of you have played this game. Am I just like... Is my pace just very slow right now? Uh, the tower was off that way, right? Yeah, there's the tower right there. What does this say? Tower. That way. <laughs> okay. You better have some damn pots up here. I got some rabbits that are, like... Decaying. Oh, look at the night sky. Hello? New location discovered radio tower. Oh, I thought they would build like a little like cabin or something like that by the radio right. tower. Town. Maybe I can find help there. Where? Oh. Whoa. Someone's just sitting here. Frozen. What the hell? While well, he was enjoying the scenic view. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoever you are. Useful. Okay. Try to... Okay. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got a town down here. Looks like we could make some shelter there. And it looks like there's lights on. There's definitely something going on down here, guys. There's somebody out there. I don't know if we... Do we risk it? I think we would... I think we would theoretically survive if we went. I need, like, uh... I need, like, some skis. <laughs> Can I get some skis? I'm not breaking down any branches. I will take all the sticks, though. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a fire here going sooner rather than later. How many stones do you think it would take for me to kill a wolf? Escape this cold. Right. I hate I hate to like do this. Cause we are right like running what the hell man?
Can I not? Why can I not police this here? I need to find food. Listen, man, I don't need the constant reminder of how, like, terrible our situation is right now. Too far away to place object? Oh. Oh. I have to be, like, right up on it. Okay. This is gonna burn me, because I'm, like, standing in the fire already. <laughs> This is not a smart move. Come on. This is actually a very terrible move. Dude, I need food bad. Turned we need to get to that well. town. We need to get to that town. Like ASAP. Take the coal. Oh, I thought we had to go through that. How do we get to that town then? What the hell is this? There's no through way here. Okay, yeah, this really sucks. This is not good. Uh, do I have water? I do have water. I need food. Can I eat coal? I don't even really... Uh, that's the that's the terrible thing. It's like, I don't even really have... I am in a bad situation. Mm-hmm. I need to figure out how to get to that town down there. Did I take a wrong turn at some point? I think I might have taken a wrong turn at some point. Maybe there was a different thing up here. I wish I knew that there was going to be a cave there. That's where I would have spent my night instead of building the stupid snow shelter. Guys, I don't know how well I would actually, like, survive in the wild. It's not looking too well if this was IRL. It's not looking too well for you, boy. I'm slowing down. I know, but we gotta, like, get to the... We gotta get to the town, man. We don't have an option. I can't, like, just stop. It's cold. It's cold for sure, I know. That hurts so much. I know, man. We gotta find a way. We gotta get into this town, like, ASAP. Hold on, brother. Hold on, Will. Nice slow going. We're getting some wind right in the face. Right in the face. Let's walk backwards. Avoid getting hit in the face by wind. Look. Smoke from that chimney. We gotta go, we gotta go warm up. Investigate the house. Come on, Will. Fight on, power through. Power through, dude. I heard some wolves, hopefully we don't get attacked by wolves. Hello? Come on, Will. Anyone out there? Save your energy, man. I'm ignoring all the other houses. I'm going straight to the house with the warmth. Oh no. Oh man. Dead body. That's not good. What happened here? A small uh, good for splitting wood can be used to hack meat in a pinch. I'll take that. Cured leather. Leather that can be used for repairs. Okay, we'll take that. 
Dude, he's dead dead. Somebody, like, killed this guy. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Oh, I can like store stuff in here. Oh, is this my house now? This is my house now. cool if I got like a house that was already that already had a fire lit in it and uh, uh hopefully like a nice hot cooked meal I'm gonna have to eat that guy I'm gonna have to eat Hello? that guy in the shed anybody here food yeah I'm sorry I'm so sorry what do you got in the fruit what do you got to eat I got some rabbits I still have some rabbits so that's my like food storage let's eat the sardines Oh, do I got a cooking pot? Please tell me I got a cooking pot. Pot, pot. Hope oh, nobody needs this anymore. Heck yeah, man. That's huge, guys. Shoot. Okay. Holy... Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I eat your sardines. I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. Please don't eat me. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here. Things must be worse than they thought. I eat, I eat your sardines. I eat your sardines. Can I not ask, how do I select here? Town. For some reason I can't like, it looks like there's some other options that I can ask about, but I can't like select them for some reason. All right, so who are you? Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? 
I had a name, once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Right. Very so cryptic. A rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble. Trouble. Trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Oh man, I think they took your sardines too. Whew. And your cooking pot. Holy crap, man, that must be rough. Sardines and a cooking pot. Man, I have no idea what happened to them. Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Oh, okay, so it look, looks like uh, Astrid... It's possible that Astrid could have been uh, kidnapped. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being whole means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Okay, I, I, this is like a... This is kind of a weird... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I guess you can sort of select things? I'm not 100% sure. It's very weird. It's not very responsive for some reason. Like, I can, every once in a while, I can, like, select town. Ah, well, whatever. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out... We're going to need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad man took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay. Outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Man, why do you have to be so... Why do you gotta be so cryptic? <laughs> oh, okay, that's how you select them. You, like, look around. I got it. I was trying to use the, uh, the left joystick. Uh, in order to, like, figure out some stuff. Alright, um... Okay. Well, any idea how we can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. 
is for hell. You won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. But we're like, we're in this together, man. Empty. <laughs> Mainlander? You keep calling me a Mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities. Scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline, and it was suddenly cut. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? <sighs> I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry, grandmother. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. Mmm, that's not good. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <sighs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Is it your gun? Is your gun named Lily? Why, also, why is she wearing like a, uh, like a blindfold if she's blind? I don't know. Very, um, seems redundant. Power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. <laughs> Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. Hmm. Um, I don't like this crypticness. What really happened here? It seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? 
brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. I just asked this, voices? Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin. Far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, uh, you mean the stone? No, no, I, I wasn't gonna throw that at you. Of, no, what? No, of course not. Why would I? Why would I even do that? Is there like infinite? Oh, this fireplace just keeps burning. Oh, that's that's awesome. Can we cook rabbit? No items. Okay, well, uh, whatever. Anyway, guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave things off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please definitely leave a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Uh, I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys on the next episode.